And from our living rooms to your living room, or some sort of hole that I'm in right now. I'm in the dark. Welcome to the Kid Craddock <laughs> Morning Show Morning Newscast with Kelly Raspberry, Big Al Mac, Good. Ana Castillejos, Nick Adams, Trey Pert, and part-time Justin. I'm Jose Roberto Angeles Catem Lopez Chavez de Perez, or just JC, and we begin this broadcast with Nick Adams. It was a wild weekend here in my house. I cleaned off the back porch. Did I take longer than I needed to clean it off so that I could have more time by myself? Yes, but unfortunately, <laughs> my other chore was not completed. I was supposed to clean off the kitchen countertop, but now more junk has been added to it. Mm. When my wife asked why I didn't clean it off, I said, who cares? <laughs> who are we trying to impress? <laughs> and finally, a touching moment from my Easter Sunday with my son. After watching several videos online from my church's children's ministry and explaining to him the importance of Easter, I asked him to explain it to me. And he said, today, we are celebrating candy. That's all for now. Back to you. <laughs> Such a sweet young man, Nick Adams. All right, let's check in with birthday girl, Kelly Raspberry. Thank you, Brian. This I'm is Kelly Raspberry <laughs> Evans coming to you live from Evans Manor, quarantine day 25. Easter Sunday spent with me bursting into tears at church online as I finally finished that 1,000 piece jigsaw puzzle I bought to do with my daughter, nice. but ended up doing alone after I made that face she didn't like that sent her stomping off in a huff. Hmm. I saw her exactly twice over the weekend. We're going to kick it on over to our boy, part time Justin. Thank you, Brian. Currently. No. <laughs> <laughs> Currently regretting the bag of hot Cheetos I had before bed. This heartburn hurts like a mo, and I can see some tums coming in me the near future. Uh, Big Al Mac, what is happening in your neck of the woods? Well, thanks, Brian. Uh, an unknown, no. an unknown <laughs> odor was coming from regional radio star Big Al Mac's apartment on Friday. Apparently, after a trip to Home Depot for plant food, Mac returned to his apartment with something called fish fertilizer. And mixing the, uh, the fish fertilizer with water and pouring it on the plants created an odor. Neighboring residents compared the stench to decomposed hooker. Also... Oh, no. <laughs> Back to you, Brian. <laughs> oh, it's JC, Big Al. Thank you very much for that descriptive and disgusting smelling newscast right there. Anna, what is happening with you? Oh, thank you, Brian. This is Anna reporting live from my kitchen, fighting every urge in my body to not reach for another snack. Recent events here include a lot of sleeping, cleaning, and the celebration of Bunny Day. However, tensions have started to rise in recent days due to the low supply of chips in the pantry. It was just yesterday when resident Anna noticed a small amount in a very large party-sized bag and commented, who ate all the chips, knowing there was only one other person living with her. When asked for comment, Anna's boyfriend and roommate, Ryan, said he he should not be blamed for the lack of chips, given that he saw Anna eat the chips on Saturday night, sometime between 11.10 and 11.30 p.m. Mm. He remembers this because it was during SNL, and he even has crumbs on the coffee table to prove it. Ooh. When asked for further comment on the evidence against her eating the chips, Anna declined to issue a statement. Back to you, Brian. <laughs> I don't know why everyone keeps calling me Brian. 